many people, by a round of applause, think I look like Beaker from the Muppets? Come on, right now. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I live in Los Angeles, folks. I gotta tell you, people make fun of LA, but you know what? I love it. I love the fact that everybody in LA is in show business and everybody's full of shit. <laughs> It's a beautiful combination. Los Angeles is the only place in the world where people claim they're meeting two producers and they're really just having lunch with their parents. <laughs> I got a roll, I'm meeting these producers. Oh uh, really? What do they produce? Uh, me. <laughs> My brother. <laughs> Must be an indie film. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I tell you this stuff, very exciting ladies and gentlemen. Three weeks ago, I just got back from overseas. I was doing a little uh, USO tour, entertain the troops, entertain the military. Yeah, you can give it up for the troops. That's fine. Boy, you're free up. Thank you. If you didn't clap, you're a terrorist. Ah. <laughs> it was awesome, man. I, 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 it was great because on the tour, at the end of it, I was in Korea with the troops, right? I bought a shirt in Korea, and the tag on the shirt said, Made Here. <laughs> Communication is important in any language, okay? Do me a favor, when you have a conversation with somebody, choose your words carefully. For example, I'm gonna nap on the flight sounds much better than I'm gonna crash on the plane. <laughs> If you had your choice, right? I tell my comedian buddies, I'm like, dude, if you have a good show, you should say something like, I got a lot of applause breaks, not I broke out with the clap. <laughs> I love doing jokes about STDs because half of y'all laugh and the other half go, that's not funny, dude. <laughs> 14 months ago today, 14 months ago today, my wife gave birth to our first baby, ladies and gentlemen. I do, but all that clapping, that's not for me. That's for her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ladies, you know, when it comes to making a baby, the woman does a little bit more of the work. <laughs> that's right, my wife did nine months. I did three minutes. <laughs> it was a hot three minutes, though, I'll tell you that. I meant the quality, not quantity. I'm super excited to be a first time daddy, man, I am. But I gotta, I'll be honest, I'm a little nervous about it because my wife's a lot smarter than me, right? And she said to me the other night, she goes, oh my goodness, what if our baby grows up to be a genius? <laughs> <laughs> then I guess I'm not the father. <laughs> what the hell are you hanging out with? You little nerd humper? <laughs> she wants to save the planet. And I'm cool with that. But every time I take her to a nice restaurant, she asks the waiter all these weird questions, right? She's always like, um, is the salmon wild? Um, is the chicken free range? The waiter always looks at me like, uh, is the bitch crazy? This is Dennis. things, right? They either nag them, yell at them, or ignore them. True? Yeah. But three women agreed, the rest of the women just ignored me. <laughs> You're good. Oh. My wife does something worse because it's really effective. When my wife's mad at me, she asks me a really sarcastic question that makes me feel like an idiot. <laughs> yeah, you too. Uh -huh. Yeah, she's good at it, man. We're out at dinner, she's like, honey, why aren't you wearing that nice shirt I got you? Uh, it was wrinkled. <laughs> oh, do you have an iron? <laughs> yeah, that kind of shit, right? All the time, she's like, honey, why uh, didn't you take the car to get an oil change? Uh, I accidentally slept in. <laughs> oh, do you have an alarm? <laughs> but, thankfully, later that night, we're in the bedroom, and I said to her, I go, so baby, um, why can't we fool around tonight? She said, uh, I have a headache. <laughs> oh, do you have a sister? <laughs> Come on, you thought I was gonna say aspirin. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, I'll be honest with you, since my wife had the baby, she stopped giving me oral sex. Cause she's gluten free. <laughs> I have no 
idea my penis was extra gluten. I tried to trick her, I did. I put a receipt from Whole Foods down there. Placed a sticker on the tip. Garnished it with some kale, it looked nice. I've seen my wife plow through three and a half enormous chocolate chip gluten-free muffins. At least she's not glutton-free. <laughs> Fellas, listen up. Do not take the woman you're with to see a movie about a guy who cheats on his girlfriend. Right, right, right. right. Don't do it. Oh, I took my lovely lady to see this movie. In the film, a man had an affair. She gets mad at me. <laughs> so pissed. She goes, Claude, why is it so hard for men to not cheat? I was like, I don't know, sweetheart. Probably the same reason it's so hard for women to not buy shoes. Hear me out. You know you love your old shoe, but maybe it's not letting you stick your foot in as much as it used to. Then you see a new shoe. Maybe it's showing a lot of skin. Maybe it's cheaper. Maybe it's on sale for one night only on a Saturday night at the Ice House in Pasadena. I want you to stick your foot in. Doesn't make you wear a sock. Sure, you might get a blister or a fungus, but you need that shoe. I told her that, and there was a long, awkward pause. And she finally looks at me and goes, well, <laughs> maybe the old shoe just needs a bigger foot. <laughs> Thank you very much. You guys have been great. You guys rock. I got to roll. Good night, Pasadena.